welcome back to my channel. Today I'm so excited. I've got a big ASOS haul. In total, I only, well I say I only, it's a bit of a chunk of money, but I spent £160, which for the amount that I got, or it was around about that anyway, for the amount that I got and what I got, because I have already tried these on, I'm actually very impressed. So if you want to see what I got, then just keep watching. So I have, oh my god, look at this. I mean, it's pretty ridiculous. I have tried everything on already and done the try on clips so that you can see what they look like, but also so I can give my review and opinion on what the clothes look like as well as how they feel on. So I'm going to just go into the bag with absolutely no method to this madness and just pull out things as I see them from the top. I don't know why I've put them all the way again. Is that annoying? Yeah, it kind of is, but yeah. I'll list prices and links to everything below so that if you want to check it out yourself, then you can do. And also I will say, I got quite a lot of bits mostly from the ASOS brand, which I'm so impressed with. I cannot recommend their brand enough. Whenever I purchase anything from the ASOS brand itself, really like it. And the first item is this. It is a gorgeous, like blush pink, kind of coral pink actually. Um, midi skirt which comes down to just below the knee and it's got this gorgeous little lace up detailing on the side. It's a good colour to wear with like a white shirt. I got this in a size UK 10. Uh, it's quite a spring summer colour I'm not going to lie so it'll probably get more use the other side of the year. I think it's still wearable at this time of the year. I like the fact that it's midi as well and it's got a little slit detailing here on the back. But yeah, what I really liked is this little lace-up corset style detailing on the sides here. As you know, I love that kind of style. I say it all the time. And yeah, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll see that. So yeah, that is the first piece. The next piece that I got is this dress from... Okay, so this is ASOS. I didn't realise this when I bought it, but it says on the packaging, ASOS maternity midi cami dress with eyelet detail in dark grey in a size 8. And no, I'm not pregnant. You wouldn't know that it's maternity. Maybe just the fact that it's kind of like loose fitting. You know, this could be... Anyone could wear this. You don't have to be pregnant to wear this, is what I'm trying to say. Uh, I did get it in a size 8 as well. Uh, what I liked about this is the simplicity of it. If you know me, you know that I like all things pretty monotone in colour and even monochrome. So mostly I mostly gravitate towards blacks, whites, creams, grey, beige, all the neutral kind of tones. And this is a really pretty, it says dark grey. I suppose it kind of comes off a little bit like, like a charcoal grey kind of colour. It's got this nice little lace-up detailing on both sides. And again, I just love the simplicity of the cami style top. And it just goes down into a midi length dress with a little slit on one side. Which makes it a really nice length for occasions where you might feel like you might want to just cover your knees. Or I don't know, like christenings or even weddings, sometimes you just feel like a longer dress is quite nice, but you can still have your shoulders out. And yeah, I think this is a good piece that can be um, like with a nice jacket for a winter meal out or something like that. And yeah, really like it. Okay, so the next item is this cream dress. Again from ASOS's brand, it's this sleeveless dress in rib with colour block in cream. Got it in a size UK 10. I love this. I kind of wish I'd have got it in an 8 maybe, I probably could have got away with it. But the quality of it feels so nice, it's so soft. Again, it's in this ribbed material, which I'm sure you can see there. And it's like a, a nice length V, but quite a deep V at the back. And it goes all the way down to below your knees, but with this nice colour block, how they call it. Um, I don't know why I just did that. Um, yeah, this little colour block, uh, white kind of cream pattern here on the side with a slit here as well. So I love this. The colour of it I think is amazing. The fit I wish was a little bit tighter. It gives quite a lot. Um, but you know, if you're going for a nice winter wholesome meal or pub lunch, then you might want a bit of extra room. And can we just like appreciate their packaging as well? Even though it's just so simple and quite small. It's just, I just love ASUS's own brand, I really do. I think it kind of comes off as being a lot more luxurious than the price 
says it is. Okay, so the next item is, again, this ribbed material. It is a dress. This is a much shorter dress, and it's got this nice, like, coarse corset bra style thing on the top. I think it fits really nice. It is quite small, con considering it's a 10, it's quite short and quite tight to like get on, but once it's on, it's like really figure hugging. And this ribbed material along the bottom is really tight. It doesn't give much, which is probably why it feels a bit smaller than a size 10. But um, because it's so thick, it like, you know, it silhouettes your figure really nicely. There's no lumps and bumps on show. I think this is better suited to maybe like an evening out. That corset detail, that bra style detail, has got wiring in it and it's very structured. And yeah, I really like it. Uh, okay, so this is something that's not from ASOS. This is from Pull and Bear. Well, it's obviously from ASOS because this is an ASOS haul. However, the brand isn't ASOS. It's Pull and Bear, which is another brand that I love. I think one of my favourite brands, if not my favourite brand, would be Zara. I love Zara. Shopping in Zara is just amazing. I think you can get some really affordable but luxurious feeling pieces from there. And obviously Pull and Bear is the same company. So um, yeah, you get that same kind of luxury feeling. This is in a size small and it's quite oversized. It's quite loose fitting on me um, for considering it's a small. I this isn't like a normal thing I'd go for, but I saw it on the model, I thought it looked really nice and I thought it would be nice with a plain white shirt underneath and it has pocket detailing on the front, super soft and warm and ugh, cosy. So it's quite a nice autumnal piece with that shirt and maybe some boots. So yeah, this is definitely a different piece for me. It's not something like anything that I've got in my wardrobe. So uh, that's what I'm trying to do when I do these shopping hauls because I do quite a lot for you guys and for me. Um, I'm going to, I, I try, I'm trying to go out of my comfort zone a bit and try different things all whilst keeping in the same theme and style that I love, which is that minimal, less is more kind of vibe with um, mostly monochrome colours. Uh, but yeah, I really like that. So this is the first item that I will be returning, unfortunately. Not because I don't like it, mainly because I've got something already similar that I didn't really think of when I bought it. So it's this maxi long dress, which is quite a nice evening attire kind of dress. And that's kind of what I had in mind, like for a good, like for a Christmas ball or a Christmas do, this would be a perfect dress. But I've got one very similar in literally the exact same colour from House of CB, which was quite a bit more and is one that I should be getting more use out of. So instead of wearing something like this, which is very similar to it, um, I actually will wear the other one. So this is going back, but I do still like it. The quality of it is really nice. It's in a size 10. And I probably could have got an eight because it's not it's not really fitted to me, which it kind of should be as this style of dress. It's very structured at the top here with a bit of wiring in these this section here. And then it's got this really high slit up the leg, which is a very sexy. But yeah, if you're looking for a dress like this, I would recommend it because it's good quality, it feels nice, and I think it's very affordable for essentially what it is, which is an evening dress. The next item I got is sadly also another thing that I'll be returning. It is this pair of jeans. Now the reason why I, I, I thought I might have to return these anyway to be completely honest with you, because their sizing was more like based on waist and length as opposed to like 8, 10, 12. I got this in 30, 32. So the waist of 30. I did do the calculation on their website to work out what kind of size I might be and they did recommend a size 28 waist so that's probably my own fault. They didn't have a size 28 though so I wanted to risk it knowing that I can do an easy return if they don't fit which they don't but um yeah I also once they arrived I'm not that keen on the colour to be honest with you I they're, they're essentially just a simple jean with um ripped knees and I got a pair recently from Misguided which um I'll leave below because I love them uh, I got them in a size 8 and they fit perfectly around the waist they're ripped up the leg and yeah I kind of got this pair to have as a secondary pair but I, I just they don't compare they feel nice the quality and the material is nice but a they don't fit 
and B, I'm not so keen on the colour. Okay, so the next thing that I got is a nice simple little tea style top which um, has something a bit more unique about it because it's this plain white t-shirt but with this little corset like velour velvet kind of corset in this like gold champagne kind of nude colour which ties up at the back but it also goes into a thong bodysuit so it would be nice with some like jeans over the top, some high waisted jeans um, I like the idea of a top being tucked into high waisted jeans but sometimes it comes out a little bit or whatever but this with it being a bodysuit it won't, it's a size 8 because um, I generally can get away with an 8 on top um, but usually 10 on the bottom and yeah I really like it, it's something a bit different again it's not like anything I own already so um, yeah I will be keeping that and I like it. Again with the corset style I am literally obsessed the next thing that I got is this jumper, it is this really pretty mauve blush kind of pink colour um, and it's got this really cool unique um, like corset detailing along the along the like main body part of it. It feels so nice, the materials that ASOS's brand use are just incredible, they feel so high end. I've got it in a size 10 and it's just again something a bit different, a nice piece that's like fitted on the arms and fitted on the body so that kind of it's not too oversized and baggy that you don't see your figure but it's really thick and warm as well. One detailing I didn't notice when I bought it, which I actually really like, um, which is a bonus, is the sleeves and they kind of open here at the bottom and are long enough to just cover your arms, so you'll see in the try on clip what I mean, but they just, I love that kind of like covered hand look, I don't know why, but it's just a really nice touch that again is unique, makes it a bit different. And yeah, really like it. I love the colours of it as well. The next thing that I got, um, again, is something that's going to be going back, unfortunately. I am yet to jump the bandwagon, and I'm probably a bit late anyway, with the whole fishnet style. So I thought this would be a good way to sort of introduce myself to that style. These essentially are plain black leggings with this fishnet detailing at the top so that it's super high waisted, you can wear a crop top with it and just have a little bit of that fishnet on show. However, if you're wearing a crop top with leggings, for me the leggings need to be thick enough and good enough quality that they're not going to be see through and that's not going to be a worry. However, unfortunately, ASOS, you let me down with this one because um, it's just too thin and it's not like vividly see through but you know when you do the test in front of the mirror and really like stretch to see if there's any chance of seeing any underwear it does show underwear so on they'll probably look okay but trust me when I tell you this they are a little bit see through so you have to wear maybe something longer with it which kind of defeats the object with the fishnet detailing up the top here so I'm not really sure how I would style that. Next up, this is something a bit fun, this is different for me and I actually really like it so when I tried it on I just couldn't believe how comfy it felt and it kind of made me think do I wear this out or do I even just wear this around the house because it is essentially this jumpsuit with the legs being more like culotte style oversized um, like wide leg and, and it's sleeveless as well so it's like a really stretchy um, top around the top but also around the middle and they do have pockets as well which is quite cool in this gorgeous grey super soft again material nice and thick at the top that it's not too tight and uncomfortable but it, it holds which is really nice and yeah I just it's so comfy so I think I would probably wear this around and about the house but also out and about with like maybe a leather biker style jacket and leather ankle boots something like that maybe so yeah that's probably how I would wear that and I just honestly I just want to sleep in this it's so comfy it's the sort of thing that I probably wear out get home fall to sleep and not need to get changed into pajamas <laughs> it's that comfortable I'm literally obsessed with the corset detailing I think I've figured that out by doing this haul but this item is kind of similar to something I already have which is this white denim corset belt which I'm sure you've seen before I posted it on my Instagram a few times but this is as opposed to just a belt it's actually a top as well so if I'm wearing like that oversized white shirt with the waist belt 
then this is a little bit different to that because it covers, like, it goes right up to here. So it's something a bit different. I wanted to try and style it first, see how I think, and see if it looks, like, much different to just the corset belt. Because if it's not that much different, then I probably will send it back. But it's something a bit different, a bit unique, and it's that lace-up corset style, which I love. Also, I got that in a size 10, and I probably could have got away with an 8, but 10's fine as well. What's this? Oh yeah, this is just like an oversized t-shirt dress, which I kind of live in in the house. They're just so comfy and easy to wear. Um, I tend to wear them more in the house than I do out and about, just because this time of the year is still quite cold to be wearing just a t-shirt dress out. But you could wear this out with like a leather jacket or something. It's just this plain white oversized t-shirt dress with roll-up sleeves here, which I love that detailing. Um, and this lace-up corset style thing, again, going that I've got going on on the bottom on both sides. So yeah, it just makes it a bit different to just a plain white t-shirt dress. So yeah, I really like that. Oh, and I also I got that in a size 8 and it fits fine. Okay, so last but not least... I got this jumpsuit in this gorgeous colour which is like this nude beige kind of colour which I just love at this time of the year. Um, it's got this gorgeous little frill detailing up the top which is really flattering, this nice thick strap and it's quite a fitted um, jumpsuit. It's fairly, sh it's not sheer but it's fairly thin material so um, I got it in a size Eight, and it's a sort of brand I probably could have got away with a 10 I'm not gonna lie it is fitted to me but a 10 might have just been a bit more comfortable um, nevertheless it still fits I'll still wear it and for me this is going to be more of an evening piece in the autumn winter months when it's still a bit cold but you want to be a bit dressy this with a nice pair of nude heels and a leather jacket and you're good to go. So that is everything that I got from this haul, this ASOS shop that I did. As I say, I've got some good bargains in there because I did shop the sale items. So let me know which piece was your favourite and also let me know any other suggestions of other shops you'd like to see me do a shopping haul from. Um, but yeah, for now, don't forget to subscribe if you're new to this channel and you like these kind of shopping haul videos because I do a lot of them. And don't forget to give it a big thumbs up if you did like it and I will see you again next time. Bye guys. Is that not a bit excessive? That's probably a bit excessive. Look how much stuff there is. To be fair, I'm a bargain hunter, so I think I did pretty good. I'm gonna have to zoom you out a little bit. <sighs> oh, a dress on that side. I will learn one day to hear which nice, which makes it, which is a nice little touch. I got quite a good you a lot of bar that doesn't make sense extra room for maneuver around the stomach area if you know what I mean and no I'm not pregnant does this have prices should I say what they are no it doesn't okay forget that which everyone's been wearing or quite a lot of people have wear okay not everyone so yeah I um so yeah I did do that calculation to work out I did do that calculation. Oh, for God's sake, shut up, phone. <laughs> if you see my videos. No, my battery's flashing. I'm not gonna finish this. The last one, yay. Yes, I did it. I filmed it without my battery dying. Although it probably looks fairly rushed, let's be honest. Okay. <laughs>